welcome uh, Global CE Day. This is Tom Judd from CED, and I have uh, my good friend Li Bin from China with us today okay. from Shanghai. So, Li, welcome, and uh, tell us about your job there in Shanghai. Ah, yes, uh, I'm glad to hear. Uh, I work in, in the Shanghai Number Six People's Hospital. Uh, I'm now the vice president of the East Campus of uh, the Six People's Hospitals. Yes, I'm still working in the clinical engineer. Yes, also for the facilities of the hospital, and also for some the information systems. Yeah, that's my job. You also, with your at, at that very strategic hospital, you have oversight over the work, the clinical engineering work, at many other hospitals in that region. Correct? Yes, uh, uh, I'm also re uh, responsible for the quality control center of the Shanghai area. Uh, it's covered um, over more than 100 big hospitals. Yes, in Shanghai area. Yeah. Only a hundred big hospitals. Wow. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, th uh, there's over uh, over 400 uh, hospitals in the Shanghai area, but there is uh, about 120 big hospitals. So, Lee, yeah. when do you sleep? When do you sleep? Uh, I'm, I'm asleep. Yeah, when do you get to sleep if you're working over a hundred hospitals? Uh, uh, what, 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 I know, it's, I it's, it's American humor, don't worry about it. Um, uh, tell us, tell us all, also about your role oh, yeah, with too the, much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell yeah. us also yeah. about your role yes. with the uh, Clinical Engineering uh, Society of China. Uh, yeah. Uh, the China, the, uh, this society is a clinical engineer society belong to the Chinese Medical Association. Uh, it's a big association uh, in the China. Uh, it have uh, more than uh, 25 branch in the uh, different province. And also for our society, we have um, uh, only for the uh, committee's member uh, is about uh, seven, 75 member uh, the, in the, our societies, yes. These members are all from the uh, China's uh, big hospitals in the different province, yeah. How, how many clinical engineers would you estimate there are in China and are, are many of them part of your society? Ah, uh, yes, uh, uh, the, the, the total the clinical engineers in the China is uh, over 100 thousand, over 100 thousand uh, clinical engineers in the China hospital. Uh, estimated uh, there's uh, maybe 20%, uh, 20% 20 of them as uh, our members, yeah. So yeah. wow, over a hundred thousand, and like you said, yeah. maybe twenty thousand members. That's yes. very, very impressive. So I yes. know uh, there's a lot going on during COVID in China with clinical engineering. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, pardon? A lot going on with COVID nineteen in China oh. with clinical engineering. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. Uh, our clinical engineers uh, they also work uh, against uh, fires against this epidemic uh, from the beginning of this year. And uh, some of our clinical engineers uh, was sent to the Wuhan, that is the center of the uh, epidemic. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, several. Uh, China's uh, medical teams uh, have sent to the Wuhan uh, and also the, some the clinical engineers uh, for working in these teams. And the more people, uh, more 
clinical engineers work in the hospitals, work for the uh, protection material, uh, pro uh, protective material, and the emergency medical device uh, deplo uh, de deplo uh, deployation. Uh, that is a very important uh, for the uh, fight against the epidemic. Yeah. Can you tell one or two stories from your own hospitals, some of your experiences? Um, uh, yes. Uh, uh, for my hospital, uh, in the beginning, in the, by, the, by the end, is uh, January, uh, January 20, uh, at the, just the beginning, uh, we know that there is a very uh, serious situation. We began to uh, procure to procure the protection, uh, uh, protective material, including the mask, including the protective clothes. But it's uh, it's a sh in the it's a in the shortage in the whole country. So uh, it's uh, it's very urgent for us to uh, make uh, the relation to uh, some manufacturers of this uh, mask uh, to get the quick the response from this uh, uh, the, the, this uh, manufacturer to the mask uh, for some mask and also for protection the. Uh, face mask, and uh, by the end of uh, by the middle of the uh, February, uh, in the whole can in the whole Shanghai, there is a shortage of the uh, protective uh, clothes. Uh, there is a no standard uh, the clothes no standard. Uh, protective clothes there's a what, what, what about what about the situation with ventilators and other respiratory equipment um because in shanghai uh, the ventilator is enough because we have a, a few uh, the patient a few patient so the our ventilator is is it's okay but the many peoples the the, the doctors work in the uh, in the world, in the isolated world, they need the uh, protection uh, clothes, uh, but we have uh, no medical protection clothes. We have only uh, industry protective, uh, industry protective clothes. Uh, so that that is uh, not uh, standard, not a standard protection. So the the, the the health bureau ask our quality control center to make some solution to improve this uh, uh, make some modification of this uh, industry uh, protection uh, protection clothes so we have found some uh, uh, solution we use the uh, tape we use a tape to uh, uh, make uh, the, the 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 line, make the, uh, the 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 industry protection uh, protection uh, the clothes to uh, cover all the uh, the sleeves uh, sleeves uh, to cover all the uh, is impossible to penetration protect. So we make the, the improvement, improvement. So uh, that uh, we have done this one uh, for three days. Then we make uh, some instruction video to the, all the hospitals. Then these all the hospitals follow our instruction to make the modification. So make the, this. Uh, Protection industry protection uh, protection clothes can be used in the isolation world. That's our what? that's our job. 
I love yeah. that story. Here's clinical engineering being called on for innovation and you guys did it and then you train people and it really made a difference. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Lee, what do you, uh, what do you think about the future of clinical engineering in China? Uh, the, in the future, I think uh, not only the uh, epidemic, also, uh, now in the China, uh, we have uh, introduced a, a lot of the, uh, like um, the, 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 the big machine, like the uh, Da Vinci ro robot uh, for the uh, operation. And also for other, some the uh, big machines in the China, uh, like the robot for the delivery, uh, robot for the service. Uh, I think uh, in maybe in the future, uh, there's a lot of the uh, such kind of the robot will be worked instead of the ma ma mankind. Uh, they have uh, challenges for how we can make sure these robots work very well in the China, uh, in the hospital. So we need to make some uh, more attention, uh, more patient uh, on this uh, robot. Yeah. Uh, also, we have introduced a lot of uh, uh, yes, uh, AI, AI, uh, artificial intelligence, intelligence, AI into our uh, diagnostic and also in for some the treatment. So how can we sure this uh, AI work well? How can can sure the data is uh, good? So that's our job in the future. Well, Lee, this has been a great, we're gonna to have to cut it off now with some other friends coming, but uh, I thank you for your time today and great work. Yes, thank you, you're welcome. Welcome to China next time, if we can meet on the, uh, yes, in the site. Okay, welcome. Looking forward to it. And now, uh, yes, I am not in Shanghai. I in, in the Hangzhou. We have uh, annual meetings. Oh, very good. <laughs> yes, in, in all the right, Shanghai. Well, say hi to yes, all our friends. Yes, it's a home. Okay, thanks. All right. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Bye.